Welcome to Barcode Collective. This is Jasmine and I'm going to be teaching you a 60 minute yoga flow. Alana is going to help and demonstrate the flow for you. And before we begin, just make sure that you are ready and you have your mat out and you're ready to go. From here, we're gonna start in child's pose. So Alana is gonna come into a child's pose with her big toes together, knees wide and hips back. Good job. We'll breathe here for about 10 breaths. So we'll connect with the breath and just begin to ground ourselves into the body. Checking in how you're feeling today. Allowing yourself to arrive on your mat as you are in this moment, not needing to change anything or be anything other than what you are right now. Be here for about six more breaths, just connecting with the breath. Staying present with your mind, staying present with your body, trusting that the past has happened as it's meant to be and the future will also fall into place and so you can surrender and stay in the moment, at least just for this one hour. We'll connect with our breath here. Set an intention for your practice. It can be a mantra that you're personally working on, or it can be something just as one word. I like to focus on the word receiving and also on the word trust. I find that it brings me in the moment and allows me to feel free. We'll breathe here for three more breaths. Again, if you have any injuries that you're arriving with today, be mindful of them and just take your time. If you ever need to take a slower pace than what I'm teaching, feel free to take your pace and do what you can. Good job. From child's pose, we're going to walk the right hand to the right side of the mat. We're going to bring the left palm on top and we'll breathe here for three breaths. Breathing into the left side body, imagining the left hip reaching back down to the left heel, using your breath. We'll do the other side. We'll walk the left hand to the right side, to the left side, right palm on top, and we'll breathe here for three breaths. Noticing your thoughts throughout your practice. If your thoughts begin to wander, which they will, each time you catch them wandering away from the present moment, gently bring them back to the moment. Focusing your awareness on your breath, on your body and the subtle changes that are happening throughout your yoga practice. And let's walk the hands back to center, child's pose. From here, we'll take a tabletop pose and come forward onto the palms. Keep the knees as wide as your hips, palms as wide as your shoulders. 
and we'll do five cat and cows here. Let's start with a cow pose. As you inhale, arch your spine, look up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, cat pose, press the ground away, press the ground away. <laughs> Four more, inhale, cow, arch your spine, slide your shoulders down towards your hips, and exhale for cat pose, press the ground away, pull your belly in. Inhale for cow, drop your belly, slide your shoulders down, and exhale for cat, press the ground away. See if you can press your hips towards your nose. Inhale for cow, drop your belly, slide your shoulders down. And exhale for cat pose, press the ground away, pull the belly in. Two more times, inhale for cow pose, drop your belly, slide your shoulders down. And exhale for cat pose, pressing the ground away. One more, inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Beautiful. Tabletop pose, come back through the center. From here, let's take thread the needle. We're going to inhale, reach the right hand up to the ceiling. Look up to your fingers and exhale, thread the needle. Bring the right arm under, bring the right shoulder down and extending the right arm to the left, release the cheek to the ground and begin to bring the left arm forward to the front of your mat. We'll breathe here for four breaths. Feel free to close your eyes as we gently enter our practice, just beginning to open the shoulders, connect with the breath. Noticing the thoughts. And if they're wandering away from the moment, bring them back to your body. Bring them back to the rhythm of your breath. Without needing to change anything about the breath, just listening and feeling the rhythm going in and out. Good job. Let's bring the left hand back beneath the left shoulder and we're going to inhale, reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Find that stretch across the chest. Release the palm back down, tabletop pose. And we'll make our way to the left side. When you're ready, inhale, left arm up to the ceiling, look up to your thumb. And exhale, bring the left arm through, shoulder to the ground, left cheek to the mat. Begin to reach the right arm forward, breathing here for five breaths. And again, connecting with the breath. Notice if your thoughts have wandered away from the moment. Bring them back to your body, noticing the subtle changes that are beginning to happen. softening the eyebrows, softening the jaw, relaxing into the pose. Noticing your breath. Let's slowly release out of the pose. Bring the right hand back in space. Reach the left arm up to the ceiling. And tabletop pose, exhale. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Push your thighs back for downward 
facing dark. From down dog, just walking your dog, bending one leg at a time. We'll do this for about three breaths, bending the legs as slow as you need to. Get into the hips and the hamstrings. See if you can activate your core as you do this. Good job, find stillness, nod your head yes, and shake the head no. From here, find stillness, let's take plank pose. Inhale, shift your shoulders forward until they're over the wrist. Good job, activate your core. Notice how Alana's legs are fully activated. You can see her hips are as high as your shoulders. And so you want to just make sure you're in this alignment. Legs activated, pushing the ground away, doming the center of your shoulders. Beautiful. Take one more breath here as you inhale. Meeting in downward facing dog as you exhale, push your thighs back. We'll do this two more times. Inhale for plank pose, bring your shoulders forward, holding for a few breaths, pressing the ground away, feeling your lower rib press up into your spine. Take one more breath here as you inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Good job. Last one. Let's meet in plank pose. Bring your shoulders forward over your wrists. Holding here for a couple of breaths. Press the ground away, activate your core. Take one more slow inhale. Downward dog, exhale, thighs back. Perfect, let's step the feet together. Bend the legs, look forward between the palms and take a giant step forward, followed by the left foot. Walk forward to the front of your mat till you're towards the top of your mat. Hands on the shins, inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Fold forward, exhale, chest down. Two more times, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your heart further forward. And fold forward, exhale. Good job. One more time, inhale, lengthening further forward, shoulders back. Folding forward, exhale. Ragdoll pose. Let's step the feet as wide as the hips and bend the knees until your belly just rests over the thighs, grabbing opposite elbows. Begin to sway your upper body side to side, leaning forward towards your toes. Imagine you want the hamstrings to lengthen up towards the ceiling. Breathing here for three more breaths. Stay with the body, stay with your breath. Feel your inhale, feel your exhale. Release the hands down to the mat. Begin to tuck your chin to your throat and begin to set the feet deeper into the ground as you roll up bone by bone. Stack one vertebrae over the other until your shoulder and your head slowly come up last. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your arms out wide, palms together at the top. Hands to prayer, exhale. Closing your eyes, connect with your intention for your practice. It can be anything that you're focusing on cultivating within yourself or within your external reality. Mine is trust and receiving connecting with what is true for you. Let's begin our flow. Inhale, arms out wide, palms together at the top. Look up to your thumbs, folding forward. Exhale, chest down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. And fold forward, exhale. Plank pose, palms down, step back to your plank. Let's inhale, shift forward, chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, open the heart. Beautiful, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, push your thighs back. Stay in down dog for three breaths. 
Gaze to the highest point in between the legs so your neck is relaxed. Activate your core, activate your legs, activate the arms. Breathe for two breaths. Good job. Let's step the feet together, bend your knees, left foot steps forward to the front of the mat, followed by the right leg. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, folding forward, exhale. Inhale to rise, arms wide, palms together at the top, hands to prayer as you exhale, connect with your intention. Inhale, arms wide, palms together at the top, folding forward, exhale, chest down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, fold forward, exhale. Plank pose, step back to plank. Inhale, shift forward, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, open the heart to your up dog. You can always take cobra if you need to. Downward facing dog, lift the hips, push the thighs back. Take three breaths here. Feel your breath. Feel the subtle changes of your body as you begin to move and breathe and focus your mind on your intention. Step your feet together, bend your knees. Option to step or hop forward, you choose. Halfway lift, inhale, long spine, folding forward, exhale. Inhale to rise, arms wide, palms together at the top, hands to prayer, connect with your intention. Inhale, arms out wide, palms together at the top, folding forward, exhale. Feet together. Chair pose, take a seat for chair, holding for two breaths. So throughout practice, I will say to keep your feet together in chair or forward fold. But if you have lower back pain, always keep your feet as wide as your hips. Listen to what feels more comfortable for your body. Inhale, lengthen from the outer rib cage and fold forward. Exhale, chest down, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, long spine. Holding forward, exhale. Step back for plank pose. Shifting forward as you inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Open your heart, inhale, push your heart forward. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes, thighs, push back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale the right leg high, three-legged dog. Bend the right leg and open the right hip and begin to circle the right knee around here. Feel as if you want to paint a circle in the sky or in the air with your knee. Keep your core strong, arms activated, and reverse your circle. Go in the opposite direction, adding more mobility to your hips. Three-legged dog. Inhale, right leg straight back behind you. Right knee to the right elbow as you exhale. Inhale the right leg straight back. Knee to your nose as you exhale. Inhale, reach the right leg straight back. Knee to opposite elbow, exhale. Inhale, reach the right leg straight back. Knee to your nose. Step the foot forward between your palms. Good job. Ground the back heel down. We're going to take warrior one pose. So the back heel will be on the ground. You can step the foot a bit more forward if you need some more space. Good job. And then Alana, you'll have your back heel down at an perfect. And from here, warrior one, inhale, arms up to the seam. Perfect. Breathe here for two breaths. See if you can position the back foot more at an angle so that the middle toe points towards the left corner of your mat. So your back foot will pivot at an angle. Good job. And then if you need to, see if you can bend the front leg deeper. Gaze forward. Feel as if the outer right hip reaches back, left outer hip reaches forward. Take one more inhale. Plank pose, palms down. Step back to your plank. 
Inhale, shift forward, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale the left leg high, three-legged dog. Bend the left leg, open the left hip to the left side and begin to paint a circle with the knee, adding mobility into the hips, drawing a circle in space. And slowly reverse, go in the opposite direction. And when you're ready, left leg straight back, three-legged dog, left knee to left elbow as you exhale. Inhale the left leg straight back, knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, reach the left leg back, knee to opposite elbow, exhale. Inhale, reach the left leg straight back, Knee to your nose, step your foot forward, round the back heel down, and again, we'll take our warrior one pose. We'll have the back foot at an angle, and you're gonna be facing forward, so your arms are gonna be up to the ceiling. Good job breathing here for a couple of breaths. Stay with your breath if you're getting warm. Embrace the sweat. One more breath here, inhale. And plank pose, palms down. Set back into your plank. Inhale, shift forward, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Exhale, breathing here for three breaths. So Alana is going to feel her Spine lengthen as she pushes her thighs to the back wall, activating her core. I'm just going to relax the neck a bit more and point the crown of the head down to the ground. Good job. Bend the knees, look forward, step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, folding forward as you exhale. Feet together or apart, chair pose. Take a seat into your chair. Good job. And Alana can take a deeper seat here just for one more breath. And she'll bring her hips more back in space, arms up towards the sides of her ears, gazing forward to the front of the room. Beautiful. Inhale, mountain pose, hands to prayer, legs straight. Beautiful. Let's inhale, arms out wide, palms together, folding forward, exhale, chest down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, folding forward, exhale. Plank pose, step back into your plank. Inhale, shift forward, chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, upward dog, pushing your heart forward, downward facing dog. Good job. Inhale, the right leg high, three-legged dog. Right knee to right elbow, exhale. Inhale, the right leg straight back, knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, the right leg straight back, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, the right leg back, knee to your nose. Step the foot forward in between your hands. Good job. This time, keep the back foot as it is. We're going to take high crescent lunge. Inhale, the arms forward and up. Slow the breath down, find your stability. One more breath here. And warrior two pose, arms out wide into warrior two. The back heel is gonna come down to the mat. Perfect. Breathing here for three breaths. Keep your gaze focused. Alana is doing great. He might be feeling this. And just stay with it. You're almost to the end of our active part portion of this practice. So you're almost there. Inhale, reach the right hand forward, flip the palm, reverse warrior. Breathing here for two breaths. Keep that front leg bent and opening to the right side so you get a deep hip stretch. Beautiful, warrior two pose. Straighten the right leg. Inhale, reach the right hand forward, activate the strength of your legs and core, and triangle pose, tilt into triangle. Beautiful, breathing here for three breaths. 
Good job. So a nice tip here in triangle to feel even a deeper version of the pose is to have the top hip open to the ceiling and the top rib cage also rotate open as the right hip pushes forward. Have the left wrist over the left shoulder. So you have a direct line from the left wrist down to the right wrist. Take one more breath here as you inhale. And let's take reverse warrior. Bend the front leg, reach the right arm back for a side body stretch. Plank pose, palms down, step back into plank. Inhale, shift forward, chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale, downward facing dog. Good job, let's take a deep breath here. Inhale, exhale. Left side, inhale the left leg high, three-legged dog. Left knee to left elbow, exhale. Inhale, reach the left leg straight back, knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, left leg back, knee to opposite elbow, exhale. Inhale, the left leg straight back, knee to your nose, step the foot forward in between your palms. Good job, find your breath, slowing your practice down. Let's take high crescent lunge, arms up, breathing here for two breaths. Soften your face, connect with the moment. Remember your intention. Warrior two pose, ground the back heel down into warrior two. Inhale the left hand forward, Flip your palm, reverse warrior, take it back, feel that side body stretch, left leg deeply bent, pressing open to the left side. Warrior two pose, come back to center, left leg straight, inhale, reach the left hand forward, triangle pose as you exhale. Remember as you move through these poses to transition with strength in the legs and the core so that your joints are always protected. Especially if you are flexible and you tend to move easily from pose to pose, this will protect you from getting too deep too quickly. So remember in triangle pose to breathe from your belly, have your hips pushing forward and your rib cage rotating open to the ceiling keeping the right wrist directly over the right shoulder. Breathing here for one more breath. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend the front leg, reach the left arm back in space. And plank pose, palms down, step back into plank. Inhale, shifting forward, chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog as you inhale, downward facing dog. We'll take three breaths here. Good job, we have one more flow through our practice. So breathing here. Connecting with your breath, noticing the body, the mind, the thoughts. Bringing yourself back into the body, focusing your mind on your intention, on the present moment. Step your feet together, bending your knees, look forward, travel forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, folding forward as you exhale. Good job. And make sure you're at the front of your mat so Alana can walk forward and create more space. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, folding forward as you exhale. Take chair pose, feet together, inhale, arms up to the ceiling. One more breath here, inhale. Mountain pose, hands to prayer, legs straight, closing the eyes, breathing here for three breaths, slowing down your breath. Remember your intention. And slowly open the eyes. We'll prepare for our tree pose. So we're going to start with the right toes on the ground. And we're going to begin to bring the right foot into the left inner ankle for a tree pose. 
If you can go deeper, you'll bring the right foot above the left knee so that the right foot is resting on your left inner thigh. Take your variation of choice. Option to have the hands and heart center. If you feel like you can reach the arms up and straighten them towards the ceiling, you can take that option. Staying where you are for the next three breaths. Feel your breath, not needing to change anything here. Just connecting and listening into your body, into your breath. Good job, from here, we're going to straighten the arms up to the ceiling. We're going to take stork pose, which means that we're just going to bring the right knee high. So the right thigh is parallel with the ceiling. Good job, so we'll have the right leg just like this. From here, we're going to transition into a re uh, warrior three pose. So Alana is going to bring her body parallel with the ground as the right leg straightens. You can bring the arms out wide to help with the balance. And you want the right hip to point down. You want to flex the right foot if you can. Take two breaths here. One day you also want the right pinky toe to face directly down to the ground with the right foot flexed. Good job, one more breath here. And then we'll take high lunge, just bend the front leg and step back, inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Good job. Bring the hands into prayer. Inhale, shift forward and twist to the left side. Hook your right elbow on the outer left knee for your prayer twist. Good job. Breathing here for a couple of breaths. See if you can step your feet as wide as your hips if they're not already. And this will help with balance and make the pose more accessible. Connecting with your breath, staying focused on the pose. High crescent lunge, inhale slowly, arms up to the ceiling. Warrior two pose, inhale, arms wide. Left hand reaching forward, flip the palm, reverse warrior, take it back. Good job. Warrior two pose, come back to center. From here, prepare for a side angle. Inhale, reach the left hand forward and side angle. Rest the left elbow over the left knee. Right arm begins to reach overhead. So you have a straight line from the right leg, a diagonal line, excuse me, from the right leg up to the right fingertips, right palm facing down. Breathe here for two more breaths. And feel the side body stretch here. Engage your core. Reverse triangle, left leg straight, left hand reaches to the back of the room, press into the front heel, inhale. Plank pose, exhale, palms down, step back. Good job. Inhale, shift forward, chaturanga, exhale. Upward dog as you inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Beautiful, take two breaths here. We have one more side to go before we begin to cool down and stretch. Be proud of your practice and all that you're accomplishing in this one hour flow. Bring your feet together, bend your knees and look forward, travel forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Folding forward, exhale. Feet together, chair pose. Take a seat into your chair, arms up. And mountain pose, hands to prayer. Closing your eyes, breathe here for three breaths. Slowing the breath down. Connecting with your body. Connecting with the moment. Feeling everything in this moment. Noticing the space that surrounds you, the energy in your body, and the rhythm of your breath. Let's take our tree pose, slowly opening the eyes. We'll come onto the left foot 
and we'll take whichever variation of tree on the left side that is right for you in this moment. Again, you can have the left foot below the right knee or above the right knee, anywhere but directly on the right knee. Good job. And then Alana, see if you can bring your left foot a little bit higher into your inner thigh. Perfect. We'll breathe here for two more breaths, slowing the breath. Breathing deeply. Good job. Let's open the eyes. We're going to take stork pose, arms up, left knee high. Let's transition into warrior three. The hands can come to prayer and then begin to pick your body into a parallel line with the ground, arms wide. Activate the lower belly and the back toes. Breathe here. One more breath. Beautiful. And if you fall, it's fun. Keep practicing. You're going to fall all the time in yoga when you're challenging yourself. It's part of the practice. Let's bend the front leg and take high lunge, stepping the foot to the back of the mat, arms up to the ceiling. Bring the hands in to prayer. Inhale, shift forward and twist to the right. Hook your elbow on the outer right knee. Breathing here for two to three breaths. And to create strength, see if you can keep the left leg activated with the left hip rising up as much as you can to the ceiling. Nice. Let's take high lunge. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Warrior two pose as you exhale, arms out wide. Inhale, reach the right hand forward, flip your palm, reverse warrior. Warrior two pose, come back to center. Let's take a side angle, inhale, reach the right hand forward and take your depth of choice. Left arm overhead, left palm facing to the ground. See if you can feel that side body stretch along the left side of your body. Maybe that means stepping your foot deeper into the ground on the left side and reaching your left arm a little bit more overhead as you rotate your rib cage to the ceiling. Good job. Reverse triangle. Straighten the right leg, right arm straight back behind you. Press into that front heel to deepen the stretch. And plank pose. Cartwheel the palms down to the mat. Inhale, shift forward. Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Breathing here for one more breath. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Child's pose. Release into child's pose. Breathing here for five to seven breaths. Good job. Three more breaths here. Again, feeling the space around you, feeling your presence as you connect with the body, creating that slow breath simply by listening and being with your breath. Notice if your thoughts have wandered away from this moment and gently bring them back. Let's take tabletop pose, bring yourself forward. From here, we're going to take a lizard pose and we're going to step the right foot forward to the right side of our right hand. So we'll have both hands on the inner side of the right leg, right foot on the right edge of your mat. Inhale, lengthen your heart further forward and exhale, soften down. 
Option to stay on the palms or to come down to your forearms. See what feels right, closing the eyes. Breathing here for three to four breaths. Continue to lengthen the chest forward to the front of the room as you allow the hips to sink down. Feel and connect to the breath for two more breaths. Good job, let's come back onto the palms and we'll make our way to half pigeon pose. So this time we're just gonna walk the right foot till it's towards the back of the left wrist. One day the right leg will be at a full parallel line with the front of your mat. If you feel tight, it might be more a diagonal, see what feels right. And Alana is perfectly situated here with her shoulders over her hips. She's gonna inhale, lengthen her crown the head to the ceiling and soften forward as she exhales. Option to come down to the elbows or even resting your head onto your palms as you create a pillow with the hands. Breathing here for five breaths. Good job, three more breaths here. Notice the subtle tease of your body, the slight little changes that are happening with every pose as you create space and release tension little by little with every breath that you take. Good job, let's slowly release as we walk the hands by the sides of the hips. Take one more breath here and we'll meet in tabletop pose onto all fours. From here, simply square your hips side to side. This will open up the hips gently. And we'll find a stillness We'll enter lizard with the left leg. Gently step the left foot forward to the left side of your left hand. Left foot resting on the left edge of your mat. See if you can lengthen the back leg more back if you want to deepen your stretch. Keep the left knee over left ankle. Inhale, lengthening the chest forward. And softening to your preference as you exhale. Maybe coming down to both forearms if that is open to you. We'll breathe here for four breaths. Keep the chest lengthening forward, hips softening down to the mat. Notice if your thoughts have wandered away from this moment, away from your breath and gently bring the awareness back into your body. Connect with the rhythm of your breath. Feel it go in and out. Creating harmony between the mind, the body, and with the energy of your breath.
Good job. Let's come back onto the palm if you're not already there. And we'll take our half pigeon. We'll walk our left foot towards the back of the right wrist. Again, maybe your left shin is parallel, maybe side diagonal. See wherever you are. Shoulders over hips. Inhale, lengthen the crown of the head up to the ceiling and soften forward to your preference. Breathing here for five breaths. Connecting with the body, you can have the eyes closed here and just creating that connection between your mind and the body. As you focus in on where you feel this pose the most and directing your breath into this space. See if you can remember your intention and just feel your intention. Embody your intention. Visualize yourself moving throughout your day as you use this intention and allow this intention to guide your thoughts and your actions, all of your choices. Let's slowly release, walking the hands back by the sides of the hips. Take a breath here as you inhale. And at tabletop pose as you exhale. Sway your hips side to side. Let's take a downward facing dog for one breath. Lifting your hips, push your thighs back, stretching your spine. Take a deep breath here, inhale, full exhale. Look forward to the front of your mat and meet in the cross-legged seat at the front of your mat. Good job. From here, we'll enter a 10 breath meditation. We're gonna inhale, reach our arms out wide, palms together at the top. Hands to prayer as you exhale. Soften the palms over the knees for your 10 breath meditation. Or if you'd rather have the palms resting on somewhere over your lap, that's always an option. Just closing the eyes. Don't worry about counting the breaths. Just think about connecting and keeping your awareness on your breath. I'll count for us within my own mind, beginning with your awareness on the breath here. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. 
slowly begin to open your eyes. And we're going to begin to straighten the legs forward in front of us. From here, we're going to bend the right leg and we're going to bring the right heel as close as you can to the right sit bone. Begin to bring the right palm behind the lower back. Inhale, reach the left hand up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, hook your left elbow on the outer knee. Breathing here. See if you can walk the right palm closer in to your body to lengthen the spine. And continue to twist open to the right side, looking over the right shoulder. Option to close your eyes. Breathing here for three breaths. And see if you can keep the left foot activated here and your core strong. Mind on the breath. Take one more breath here as you inhale and slowly release as you exhale. From here, bring the right foot into the left inner thigh and allow the right knee to open out to the right side. Frame your left leg with both hands and flex your left foot so the toes are reaching back to your face. Have the hands framing the left leg. Inhale, lengthen your heart forward towards the left toes and exhale, soften as you fold. We'll breathe here for three breaths. Good job. Here we have a very subtle twist happening and we can deepen this pose by Imagining our left hip shifting back in space and our right hip shifting forward. This will create a deeper sense of twisting in the belly, the lower belly especially. Continue to focus on your breath. Notice if your thoughts have wandered away from the present moment and simply bring them back here. And let's inhale, lengthen forward to the front of the foot and release the hands back by the sides of the hips as you exhale. From here, straighten the right leg forward and we'll now bend the left leg. Bring the left heel as close as you can to the left sit bone. Bring the left palm directly behind the left side of your lower back. Inhale, reach the right arm up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, twist as you hook the elbow on the outer knee. Begin to look over the left shoulder. Flex the right foot so that the leg, right leg is flexed and engaged. Engage your core to deepen the pose and see if you can twist a little deeper from the belly, the ribs, and the shoulders. Breathing here for two to three breaths. Closing the eyes, noticing the breath, not changing anything here, just being aware. Good job. Take one more breath here. Inhale. And release the pose. Exhale. Let the left leg open. Bring the left foot into the right inner thigh and frame the right leg with your hands. Flex the right foot so it's reaching to your face. Inhale, lengthen forward to the front of the foot and exhale as you hinge forward. Breathing here for three breaths. Closing your eyes. Noticing the breath.
Whenever your thoughts wander, connecting with trust, trusting that things in the past have happened just as they are meant to have happened, and things in the future and events will also happen for their reasons. And everything falls in line as you trust and stay present. Beautiful, inhale, lengthen forward to the front of your foot and release the pose as you exhale. We'll make our way onto our back. Feel free to allow yourself to get there at your own pace. And slowly releasing down. Let's hug the knees into the chest and we'll breathe here for a few breaths, softening the shoulders, closing the eyes, Feeling your breath here. Let's roll to the right side of our body, coming into a fetal pose. Bring the knees up to your belly as tightly as you can. Let's bring the left arm reaching up to the ceiling. And then bring the left arm all the way open to the left side as you fall into a twist. Look over the left shoulder and breathe here, closing your eyes, connecting with your breath. Option to rest the right hand over the left knee to add some weight into your twist. Gaze back to center. Give yourself a squeeze in the center as you bring the knees into your chest. And let's take our fetal pose on the left side. You bring the knees up as high into your belly as you can. Reach the right arm up to the ceiling and let the right arm fall open to the right side as you take your twist. Left hand resting over the top knee, gazing over to the right hand, breathing here for three breaths. Let's gaze back to center. Bring the knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Take one more breath here as you inhale. And arrive in your Shavasana. Take your final relaxation pose. Straightening the legs. Relaxing the arms. Closing your eyes. Taking an alternate pose of surrendering. Taking up as much space as you need to. Let's take a deep breath here. Full inhale, filling up the lungs with the breath. Open the mouth and exhale it out.
fully surrender. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Wiggle your toes and your fingers and take your fetal pose onto your side. Let's arrive in a cross-legged seat onto our mat. Inhale, reach the arms out wide. Bring the hands to prayer, closing the eyes, bow your head down to your heart. Breathing with your intention for a couple of breaths. Thank yourself for completing your practice and for staying aligned with your intentions. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and thank you so much. Namaste.